Hey guys, I got a direct copy date of Valen surgery after uh, five hours, five, six hours. Uh, I had surgery this early morning. Uh, I went to the clinic at 7 30 and then uh, I had a procedure around 8 a.m. or so. And then it's down 9 a.m. 9 9 4 a.m. <coughs> so um, <coughs> that's after I woke up. So it was like fully asleep. Totally asleep. So uh, depending on your clinic, it's different. Because uh, I have seen some videos uh patients awake and then do a procedure and then in my case uh i was totally asleep so it will be different by the a little bit different by the where you're going to but uh, uh after some surgery uh i was okay i was like oh, oh. It's done already. Uh, I I was not fully awake when I was recording earlier today for the YouTube video, cause my throat was still numb, and then you know, just woke up. My brain was not working. Uh, <clears throat> right now it's okay. Uh, on the way home, I had a little bit pain on my nose. Uh, it was not. It was not that bad, but just was mild pain. Uh, I was told to get the tunnel, uh, so I went to the Walmart and I got the tunnel for the pain medicine. Uh, the hospital, uh, the hospital, the nurse didn't want to uh, prescribe prescribe for the pain medicine because uh, <coughs> I I'm breastfeeding. The baby after the I, I, I gave birth on uh two weeks ago so <clears throat> so even if the medicine they wanted to give me was going not gonna work <clears throat> it's not gonna work because uh it will affect the, the baby if I breastfeed so uh I I, to I was told to get the tunnel and then. Uh, I took it. I think it's working. I just took one instead of two because uh, it was not that bad. Uh, so right now it's okay. But when I had a problem with my toe, like uh, irritating itchiness, and uh, it makes me cough. But after I coughed a few times, my nose that hurt it. So uh, if you had surgery. Do not cough. It's gonna hurt your nose. I think it's gonna affect the uh, healing process. So, this is what they are gonna say do not cough. <coughs> uh, uh, basically, I, I gotta keep my small bucket right here with the <coughs> grocery bag inside. Uh, then I just gotta spit it out. <coughs> That's right next to it. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, like that, you can spit it out. Don't swallow it. Uh, you're gonna have blood coming out for a few hours after the surgery. Keep keep spit it out, <coughs> and then since. Five hours? I think it's maybe five hours. Uh, Brother is less now. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you inside of the bucket, but <laughs> uh, it's going to be better. Uh, blood, will, blood will be less, but my nose, I feel like uh, blood coming out sometimes, and then I feel like I want to blow my nose, but I cannot do it. Because it's going to affect the healing process. Uh, so, uh, just going to keep it like this. Changing 
actually inside of the uh, Gaza. Okay, this thing. For every few hours, I think. I don't know. Uh, and change that, and then. Uh, also, I'm using the mask. Using a mask to cover my mouth. Uh, when I'm not eating or drinking, because you have to breathe from my mouth, from from the mouth. <clears throat> and it's gonna dry your mouth. <laughs> So basically, it's covering <clears throat> mouth with the mask to keep moisturizing the mouth. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be effective even though uh, if you have nose pain from the sinus infection, uh, uh, have a sore throat, uh, I used to put mask on it. Even <clears throat> into the house or when I go to bed because if you're moisturizing your area, nose and mouth with the mask on. So even if you have nose pain from the uh, sinus infection, if you put the mask on, the nose pain will be uh, less or disappear. So, if you have a problem with nose pain with a if, uh, <coughs> sinus infection, I recommend to use a mask. Try it, and then the pain will go away. Uh, or you co cover your nose with a hand. And then that will keep you moisturizing too. And then, uh, the sinus drain my surgery uh, I did. Uh, was working well. I, I'm not posting about it, but I'm trying to. I will post that later if if I could. Uh, not, not for a while because I need to heal my nose first. Uh, anyways, uh, <clears throat> we will see what's going on. Uh, what's gonna happen? Uh, so tonight I'm gonna sleep on the couch. Because uh, uh, I was told that I I sh I should not sleep what and then <clears throat> when I sleep I use the two pillows to elevate in my head uh, so blood doesn't go to their throat <clears throat> back to throat and then it's gonna be bad. But, uh, uh, I don't trust myself while asleep because usually when, when I sleep it's gonna make things comfortable trying to make things comfortable and then when I wake up I'll probably sleep in flat so uh, I was told I can sleep on the side but make sure elevating my head up uh, so blood was, does not go to my back of my throat. Uh, if you have kids, then you have to watch the kids. Uh, you will have to do something with the kids for first two days of the surgery. Um, <coughs> in my case, uh, my husband and his uh, mother watching the kids. So uh, I can... I can rest. Uh, that's very important for healing process. Uh, you cannot carry the baby, uh, not the baby, carry the kid. Uh, nothing extra work. Uh, you just have to be relaxed. Like sit on the couch, sit on the other chair, whatever comfortable for you. Uh, you just have to be. <laughs> comfortable and uh, do not do extra work uh, for first two days after the surgery um, so that's what I'm doing right now uh, I sit on the couch trying to relax as much as possible uh, and then watch a TV 
and then tonight I'm going to sleep on here on the couch. <coughs> uh, I just have that's tomorrow I'm gonna start another uh, with. Uh, I have to do it three times a day, um, but I get the blood and nose, so it's gonna be a little bit challenging for me, uh, cause. Uh, if you do the <coughs> nasal rinse regularly, you will see, you know, the feeling of, the, you know, after the <coughs> rinse nose, you want to blow your nose. That's, I cannot do it, because it's going to affect through the healing process. So, uh, that's a little bit challenging for me. Um, if, again, if you have kids, uh, you have to... <coughs> decided to be the case for the first two, two days. Uh, it might cost money a little bit, but uh, let someone watch the kids for two days. <coughs> Very important uh, for the two days, at least. And, uh, try not to uh, do extra work, like I said. Uh, that's it. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow or tonight. Uh, I have a panic attack. Um, the symptoms like a clogging nose and randomly triggers my uh, symptoms. Uh, like, uh, you know, uh, panic attack symptoms. Uh, when they happen, it's gonna be horrible because it's gonna make me feel like I wanna disappear. It's not like I wanna die because I don't wanna die. But uh, when things happen, oh god, I cannot stay still. I have to like walk around, panicking, crying. You know, it's gonna be miserable. <coughs> I feel like I want to disappear. Like, why am I here? Anyway, I'm not going to talk to everybody about it. But, uh, <clears throat> this is what's going on right now. Uh, I'll keep updates again. Uh, I will talk in Japanese about uh, balance surgery process. Because balance surgery is not uh, familiar in Japan. It's not like zero, but... I think Japan in Japan it's more common to do all the fashion surgery. <coughs> so uh, I'm gonna talk about bone surgery a little bit in Japanese. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna keep up with it again tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Right now I'm. I don't have much. Symptoms like a, <coughs> I don't know. I, I try not to breathe from the nose. Uh, I was told the nose gonna be clogged, but I'm not trying to breathe from the nose because still bleed coming out. Uh, it's not that bad. <coughs> it's not that bad, but anyways, uh, I'm trying to keep up the again. All right, guys. Bye.